What's up guys? I wanted to film a video, but I didn't have any ideas. And I was like, should I cook something? Should I sing something? Should I do something beauty related? And then I realized, I don't, it ain't nobody here. I can do, I can, I can do anything I want. Like having a channel with like no subscribers is just, it's just like shouting into the void, you know? <laughs> like I support that. Sometimes you just have to grab the void by the cheeks, look at it square in the face and just go like, ah, and just hope it screams back. Today, I think I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay, that look has been canceled. She's done, she's over. So, oh Lord, where do we start? Lord, please don't let me embarrass myself in front of all zero of my subscribers. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. Come on, punch in. Come through close up. Yes. So the first thing I do after praying um, <laughs> is I put on a primer. And the one that I use for that is the NYX White Eyeshadow Base. This stuff is rad. It's like a perfect like bright clown white base that shadow adheres to really nicely. It's great if you want to make bright colors pop. I tend to use it for everything because what is having more than one primer? I apply it with a lip brush. A little bit of it on the tip of the brush like you would anything and just kind of blend it onto my eyelid. I don't know why I'm narrating this like you know how to put on primer and if you don't I'm probably not the best person to learn from if we're being really real. Wow. Cool. Love it. Love it. Living it. Totally unheard of. Like, honestly, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna resist making the joke that everyone says when they're halfway through the makeup where they're like, okay, you're done. <laughs> Just kidding. You look ugly. Honestly, you could stop here. This is a look. So I'm gonna set that with a matte shadow that is close to my skin tone. This may ruin everything. <laughs> who knows, right? Honestly, who has ever known anything in human history? I sure haven't. Um, I'm gonna stop because I'm frightening myself. I'm gonna do a transition shade. You're gonna go into your Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette or as the Australians say, Modern Renaissance palette. I'm going to, I think, use the shade Realgar. I think I'm going for like a warm, kind of orangey, bronzy, very Instagram look du jour type of moment. I'm going to put it on this brush because I grabbed it first. Um, it's a Royal and Langnickel small shader brush. See girl, we're fine, we got the bait. We are great. I'm gonna take a little bit. These eyeshadows are like super pigmented. Like literally everyone who said this was like the best palette ever was like not lying. And as someone who just distrusts like businesses and the internet and just like people as a whole, just like humanity, I was surprised. Like your girl was a wee bit Shookington. Okay, dope, cool, sick. I'm gonna deepen up the crease using another shade from this exact same palette, Cypress Umber, this brown one right here. I'm gonna use a different brush for that. This one. And just like put it right here. Oh no. Okay, just blend. Just blend and don't start screaming. Oh, that looks terrible. Let's do it on the other side too. No, you know, it's okay because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take a really pigmented metallic shadow and just put it all over the rest of my entire lid. The metallic eyeshadow in question is the Milani shadow in the shade Bella Bronze. This stuff is litty. I'm a huge fan of it. I think I'm gonna use this brush, this Morphe brush. This is like a really kind of long flat powder brush that I'm holding up even though my camera doesn't autofocus so there's no way you're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, I'd like to use it when I need to cover my entire lid with powder in order to save a look that I'm on the fast path to destroying, which is the situation that I'm in right this second. No, those don't look blended at all. 
I'm here, like, sitting here, like, congratulating myself for this look. It still looks bad. <laughs> Ooh, that one actually looks a lot better. Okay, come through one eye. Come through lefty, good old lefty. Okay, take just even more Realgar. We're just gonna act like all of this was supposed to happen. All right. Um, this is honestly like gonna be a really simple look because I'm gonna put so much highlighter on that I won't even really need, no one, no one's gonna look at my eyeshadow. Like, <laughs> eyeshadow whom? <laughs> Eyeliner, whom? Brows, who? Okay, I'm gonna highlight my intro corners though. So I'm gonna go back into the modern renaissance and I'm gonna go into the shade Primavera, which is this like absurdly stunning silvery. No, girl, this gold, what? It's not even gold, it's champagne, silvery. Clearly, someone needs to go back to kindergarten and learn what colors are. Oh my god, shut up, Anastasia. Yes, queen! Sick! I'm gonna use that exact same brush, but this is a Morphe brush, by the way. I gotta get brushes with names, dude. Everyone's like, this is a Morphe E24 um, 3.1410-02135 ABCDEFG um, brush. And I'm like, this is... It, it had hair on it. I think what I'm gonna do, stay with me. I'm gonna take red ochre, this shade. I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. Are you ready? Are you holding on to something? Wow, that looks underwhelming. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Ooh, I'm gonna go actually into the, <laughs> I'm gonna go into the palette that I've been using as a mirror this pure cosmetics one. Oh, and I'm gonna like put the bronze between like the gold champagne and the, f and the, the uh, uh, maroon and I'm gonna marry them together. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm a genius. Honestly, put this in the MoMA. Oh, are you seeing this? Are you looking at me? Okay, what's next? I'm having fun now. Let's highlight our brows. I use just my fingers for it because like, it's 2017, you know? We don't have to pretend. We don't have to pretend anymore. Yes, ooh, I totally forgot about my brows. I use the H&M Clear Brow Gel because I don't fill in my brows. They're already black. Like, I don't need to do anything extra, honestly. I could, and I should, but I won't. Cause what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not against the law to be lazy. Yes. yes. So eyeliner is actually my favorite part of my makeup routine. I'm actually a huge fan of eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I'm just using like an entire like real mirror this time. I'm not. I'm not being cute anymore. It's the big. It's the big leagues now. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do the other eye. I'm doing this off camera because you already know what one I look like. You don't need both. Don't be spoiled. Okay, eyeliner is done. They're a little bit uneven, but like, <laughs> yeah. Mascara. I usually use a combination of these two mascaras. They are phenomenal together. They are the Essence Rock and Doll Crazy Triple XL Volume. The name is just so much but it's a really great volumizing mascara and on top of it I usually put the CoverGirl Super Sizer which is another example of YouTube telling me something was awesome and me being like is it really and then I bought it and I was like oh my god it was am I a conformist <sighs> but today I'm trying out something new I'm trying out the Maybelline the Falsies push-up drama which I've been told is actually quite good so let's see if it is Interesting. So we're gonna go right into blush. I'm gonna go into my BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette. I'm gonna go really bright pink. Are we ready to be daring? Let's be bad. Let's be bad together. I don't know if this is extra enough yet. Let's do more blush. Oh my God. 
This looks absurd. I love it. I just look kind of bad. Um, that's fine because who cares? I think I'm gonna do a wee bit of contouring. Maybe I should have done this beforehand, but it's not like I... <laughs> it's not like it matters. So to contour my face, and really more so than contour, I mean bronze, I use a finishing powder actually. I use a black... Wow! I use a Black Radiance Finishing Powder, Soft Focus Powder in the shade Milk Chocolate Finish, and a Royal and Lang Nickel Stippling Brush. And I literally just open the pan. Boop, boop. That's it. Literally, that's it. And then just... Yeah. Something like that. We're gonna return to our Milani Prime Light Primer. And I'm going to prime my highlight because I love being ridiculous. I'm gonna take a little bit on my hands again on whatever fingers don't have other makeup on them, so none of them, so just kind of try to find some free real estate. Okay. So, to highlight today, I'm gonna keep things real warm and I'm gonna highlight with a rose gold blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bella Bellini. It is a true gorgeous rose gold, like, do you see it shifting in the light? Like, it's so pretty. I love it. Oh, why don't I just... Ah! It's a beard. I want a beam of highlight. I want to look like everybody on Instagram. I'm so excited. I love it. I love looking like everyone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so into that. I love it. What do I even do now? Oh my god, lips! Ooh, my camera battery is like, girl, if you don't hurry up. So, <laughs> for lips, obviously I have a lot to choose from. But I think I'm going to keep it simple and do a nude pink. I'm going to line my lips with a NYX liner pencil in the shade Ever. It's shade 828. And then the actual lipstick I'm wearing is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. All right, it's pink. I don't know what we're, we're talking about, mocha. It's always great to have a big chunk of dry liquid lipstick right when you start to apply it. This is the finished look. She's here, she's arrived. My choker's trying it, but it's fine. Let's go even closer. Yes. Are you experiencing this mid-level skill? Yes. Oh, look at that exaggerated skin texture. Yes. I'm living. I'm living. I'm alive. I hope you are too. I'm bringing, we're not doing this anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my God, why do I keep doing this to myself?